with the crew sector playing one of the most critical roles in the development of Dominica's economy, it is only fitting to discover ways to grow that sector. In that regard, a cruise policy and action plan project was officially launched with the aim of seeking to increase Dominica's tourism arrivals, thereby increasing the share of tourism's contribution to national economic development. The initiative was spearheaded by the Discover Dominica Authority in collaboration with a consultancy team and a number of stakeholders were also present. The Launch and Stakeholders Workshop was held on Tuesday, March 7th at 9 a.m. at the Garraway Hotel Press Conference. The team will also be undertaking various site visits to locations that we think are quite popular among our cruise visitors. And you'll understand why they want to observe, they want to see what these cruise visitors are engaging when they get here, what type of experiences they are they meeting, persons that they are meeting on those sites, the conditions of those sites, and I'm happy that we have the forestry persons here with us. So they will be going to those very popular sites and looking at also the infrastructure that we have on island, because this is a very important role that they play. The infrastructure is very um, critical for the ships that are going to be built in here. So they're supposed to be looking at the building requirements and onshore activities, all in an effort exactly, um, to just present a better product for the persons that are coming to be in Dominica. At the end of it all, they're going to be presenting a comprehensive report to us, basically to map up to, map up to us what it is that we need to do, what it is that we should not be doing, that we may be doing. Just advise us in that report as it relates to cruise tourism. Project consultant Hugh Dali stated that in order to sell Dominica as a destination, one needs to identify the unique characteristics that sets it apart from other destinations. That was a new introduction to what we needed to do in defining where cruise shipping was moving in the future. And that vision plan led me to islands like Dominica to determine what unique features were in destinations that we could build a seven day itinerary. So a little bit about what we'll talk about in our workshop later and something that we work very much on this team to do is identify what the characteristics of a destination that make it unique to that seven day itinerary. For those of you who have been on cruises, you've noticed you've gone in five destinations in a seven day week. Many of the things are the same. The reason to put yourself in the lead role of being a decision for an itinerary planner is to make sure you have offers and offerings that other islands can't offer and or don't offer in your area or your segment of the industry. So we look very hard at talking to each of the stakeholders and making sure that we understand what are the assets that have the best opportunity to improve moving you up the list on destinations that are being planned for future of tourism. Darling noted that the team is not only theoretical but work on the ground ensuring the ideas and the concepts that are being developed a practical, economical, and sustainable. The vision. Dominica needs to pursue a sustainable tourism product and one that enriches the lives of everyone. One of our big challenges is when we go into a destination, and we worked in Jamaica for over 17 years now, the hotel segment began to see cruise as a threat. Now they see it as a huge advantage. If you follow the Jamaican market, you'll see that they, the sampling for guests coming from the North American market particularly are looking for future destinations. Now Jamaica's hotel industry is on a huge rise and the reason is that more people go to an island, they're there just for eight hours. What's really unique is when they cut, they're like, well, I'd really like to come back to this. It's very important every, media, every minute that a guest is here in Dominica, we impress them with the assets that we have and make sure they have a great experience. Why? The intent to return. Dali also added that the lives of everyone in Dominica should be enriched and cannot be limited to only those involved in tourism sector, but instead seek opportunities to build business sectors around the cruise industry that will support infrastructure and build destinations in the minds of the consumer to return to the island as a land-based tourist and spend a longer period of time. The opportunity. I always use this because there's an expectation when people read in their cruise itinerary of where they're going. We have to make sure that we don't underperform. It's kind of like, where's the rum going? Well, the asset is here is the, is the environment. We have to make sure the guests that come here, what do we want to make sure that they, they see? They got to see the ecotourism and the environmental value that Dominica. 
because you're in a unique position. You are underdeveloped compared to some destinations which have this beautiful greenery and landscape. We got to get them out as soon as possible. So the idea is don't underperform. Make sure we meet the expectations of the guests who pick Dominica on their itinerary. And the consultant team will also be engaged in a number of site visits, and that's according to Product Promotions Manager of the DDA, Kathleen Coffee-Janjul. And moving on.